Who's that? Oh, it's Crash Bandicoot. So we're gonna get the next gem in plant food. So this is the next uh, color gem. We need to unlock the next sewer levels area, which has a clear gem in it. And it's pretty much identical to the uh, very first, uh, what would you call this archetype? Upstream 2.0, I think is what I called it earlier. I can't remember. But uh, the level's timer actually starts the moment you enter the level, so I'm trying to get through it as quickly as I can. This one is... It's actually pretty fucking tough. Um, you need to take hits to actually beat this one. If this was the original, I would have died, by the way, right there. I'm not even pulling your leg here. So, you need to have at least one Aku Aku mask. You cannot finish this level and get the gem with just one. You need at least two. You can do it with one, but I do not recommend it. It's very dangerous. So, because we need to take a hit in order to actually get through this quickly, because it, it's just impossible otherwise. So we need to take a hit there. I'll grab the crystal, why not? And we need to take another hit coming up here. So hug left. You don't want to take it too early, so... I have no idea if you can avoid that. I've never done it. I'm not fucking dealing with the nitrodes jumping at me. I'm doing it that way. So, there we go. We have the yellow gem now. And I'll actually die since I didn't hit the uh, checkpoint. You just gotta kill yourself, huh? I am not even exaggerating. That fucking speedrun was ungoddamn comfortable. So, <clears throat> now we can actually do the level properly, which, it's actually really not that bad. I love these levels so much. Oh, I love how very little of the music track was actually changed for this, too. It's too close. Um, I mean, this whole area is just... It's like I said, Crash 2 really does feel like a direct, um, I guess you could call it upgrade to Crash 1. Like, the level tropes are similar, but they're harder, they're more advanced. The enemies are familiar, but they're, they're different. Like, it's a very good example of how you make a sequel. I mean, even the, the hidden warp room area is actually the, uh, I think it's one of the labs or whatever, but you can see the other Wumpa Islands in the background, too. So it's like, even the world is supposed to- like, this is supposed to be reminiscent of the original Crash 1 bonus level. Like, where you're in the treetops, so like... There's so much shit in Crash, uh... 2 that just feels like a direct upgrade to Crash 1. Like, you've probably noticed by now if you've been paying attention, I guess. Uh, the enemies are, like, just different versions of ones you saw already. Which we get to see later in a few minutes, too. Oh my god, I guess you can do it like that, but I have always done this level with just, uh, like, one hit remaining. It's very fucking finicky. This is how you're supposed to clear the area out, but kind of lunatic plays by the rules, am I right? I'm not gonna chance it going for those boxes, trust me. I'm not that ballsy. I'm too tired to try that one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I really do love... Crash 2 so much. It feels like the perfect sequel. The controls are improved, the difficulty is ramped up, the game is more, like, refined. The level archetypes are more refined. The music is really damn good in the original, too. Like, there's so many things about Crash 2 that just make it the ultimate sequel in my mind to a game. And it's probably because I didn't own Crash 1, so that's also fair. But I think it's so much... It's just a different game than Crash 2, you know what I mean? I can't explain it very well. Uh, we'll do Sewer later, we'll get the gem in that one too. So this one is where we need to use the yellow gem. There's no boxes in the yellow gem route, so I'm actually gonna either get killed or just backtrack through it. But I'm more than likely just gonna get killed, so I have no issues taking as much dumb damage as I'm doing right now because I actually plan on killing myself. <laughs> I am not hyping that up enough. It's a fucking uncomfortable uh, speed run, trust me. Anyways, 
So this is the yellow route. Oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, this is always electrified. Just treat it like a bottomless pit. So, that's... They did kind of fix this in Crash 3 where you had to get to the end of the route and then you'd finally get your gem, so... In this version, however, you can just do that. Now... Oh, this is a nasty jump. I might get killed here. That was kind of me. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit me. But this is a very... Uh, it's, it's really hard to explain. Like, the hitbox is massive on those propeller blades. God damn it! It's not me being bad either. I can guarantee you this. Uh, right, let's... There we go. Those really do have massive hitboxes, by the way. I believe in the original you could also spin, like spin slide like this, into those guys and you'd kill them instantly, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, but sometimes this, this is the only glitch I've encountered in Crash 2, is sometimes when you're on these specific platforms in the sewer levels, um, like, he bobs up and down. I couldn't explain why. So, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. You have to break these crates. If you hit the nitro switch, those won't count. So you need to break those. If you don't, you will not get your box gem. Just food for thought. Because you want to be a pro, you want to get that 100% completion and mac on them honeys, right? Say, oh yeah, I, uh, I'm kind of a master of Crash Bandicoot too. Yeah. That do anything for you? I know you can jump through these, but I'm not as comfortable with just two. Yeah, you can see that that tends to happen. Ugh. I'm not gonna chance it without a mask, trust me, that's just too risky. I I can do it consistently in the original, but not in this version. If I was going for a relic, it'd be a different story. I just fucking walk right through it. But this is why you can just get the gem and die, because you skip so much shit going through here. It's going to the right, yeah, that's right. So go to the right to get all the uh, stuff filed out. Just saves you a few more seconds. Like I said, you're trying to uh, impress all those those cute girls, right, with your Crash 2 skills, right? Oh yeah. You, oh yeah! Oh, I can't hear that sentence without thinking of Christian jacking off. That's not good. Christian, what are you doing? Nothing. Put that crap down. What is your trouble? I love that video. I... It's a guilty pleasure. It really is. Um, anyways... Whew. Some of these levels are very fucking challenging in a uh, time trial, by the way. You will absolutely uh, have a time getting the relics in this game. They're not easy at all. So... But it's really fun. And with the addition of the... Uh, the speed shoes, it just makes it so much more fun. You see, that's that's why I like Insane Trilogy, is it's exactly the same game with a little bit of extra quality of life stuff. That's how you do it, man. Oh boy. So what do I want to do next? Uh... Oh, go away, Coco. No one cares about you. Crash, thank goodness! I hacked into court... And then I found out that I was Jimmy Neutron! Um... We'll do Bear Down... No, we'll do Road to Ruin last. We'll do Unbearable first. So this level, when I was a little little wee lad, um, this scared the shit out of me. I could not keep playing the game after this. This was too fucking horrifying. What is it, though? Shit was... No, this is nothing compared to the original Bear model with its fucking giant gummy grin and its... Uh, uh, it's big... F when you die in this, they just go, ha 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 ha! In the original, they fucking went like... <laughs> and they fucking, like, nodded up and down with a shit-eating grin. And when they die in the original, their tongue would actually hang out. Like, they go... Ugh, and they'd, like, just curl up and die. Uh, my cousin also told me they're bloodthirsty, they're out for blood. And it fucking scared the shit out of me, dude. I could not play this level. I had to have my dad finish it for me because I could not handle it. He's like, what's so scary? It's just a bear. And I was like, you don't understand. Also, I love... 
love their little goofy lizard eyes. I'd love to point that out. They have fucking weird twitchy eyes. I love them. Oh yeah, by the way. Yeah, because you totally think of this when you're uh, seven years old without internet, right? Duh. Obviously. You fucking heathen. What kind of idiot doesn't know how to do that? Ugh. Oh boy. So, these guys... I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, Motherfucker.obj with a gun is genuinely a dangerous dude. They only show up in two different levels. It's this one and the B level? Oh, I'm cutting it really fucking close today. I don't like this. This is the asshole box. Everybody knows about this. See these two extra life boxes? Yeah, those weren't really visible in the original. Uh, no joke, dude. That shit was just... Oh, uh, fuck me. When I actually did this level properly the first time, I was like, what did I miss? And then when you find out it's that... It hurts. So... This is why I said you want to go into this level with a mask, because you can just kind of say fuck all this nonsense. Oh, sorry. FUCK ALL THIS BULLSHIT! And then you can... Yeah, you can just do that. It's a lot easier. And now... You can also tell if you hit the nitro detonator, this actually gets rid of a few nitros in this little bonus route. And this is why you want to do bonus rooms as well. Even if you're like, oh, I don't want to get the gems. Kind of lunatic place crash without getting gems. But, um, because these act as, uh, checkpoints, so you don't have to do that fucking underground section again. Trust me, you don't want to do it. Um, if you break a nitro crate by jumping into it, by the way, of course it counts towards your box tally, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And those use the fucking stock sound effect, by the way. They use that, <laughs> like, sound that's been in, like, fucking three bejesus Christ, three bajillion games. I know it counts, I just want to make sure it breaks it, okay? I'm a little, uh, a little anxious. <laughs> um, I love the music for this, like, I haven't mentioned yet. This is actually a pretty good remake. And by the way, it's not just a chase level, it's a little bear level. I, I love this, this is so cool. It's fine going this way, I'm not sure why, I have no issue with this. It's the other direction that fucks me up the most. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. Did I hit it all? 58 out of 58. Cool. I guess we're done with the level, right? Ah, no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. We're not fucking done with the level. What did you think this was? Crash Bandicoot 1? What kind of shit you've been smoking? No, of course. Jump back into the stage and go towards the bear to unlock the super secret level, right? You thought I was fucking kidding? Duh. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I never figured that I was a kid. And this is even worse in the original because when you, like I said, if you fuck this up, you had to go all the way back here through that warp area. So, <laughs> have fun. So this is entirely a gem level. This is no crystal, this is just gem. All gem, baby! And you can even get a time trial right now if you want. I'm gonna be quiet for this one. I'm really not good at it. Like I said, I apologize, but this is a very fucking hard level. I'm gonna try to... Think of something funny in a minute. Oh, dick butter. That's probably funny to somebody. That jump is horse shit, by the way. And if you missed it in the original and you fucked up and you didn't get the gem, you'd have to go all the way through totally bare, by the way. Or sorry, unbearable to get here again. God damn it! I did it just fine in the first two test playthroughs. That's just the way it works, ain't it? Fuck polar bears, man. They're the worst bears ever. They need to get their shit together and get to land and stop being so fucking starved. Polar bears need to get with the goddamn program. God, son of a bitch! 
Ripping on polar bears doesn't even give me the dignity of finishing this level properly. God damn it. This is why you have so many extra lives, by the way. No one is gonna sit here and say it's bad if you fuck this up, trust me. What? Okay. If I fuck this up two more times, the next available box actually becomes a checkpoint box. That's coded into Crash 2. I don't think it was coded into Crash 1. Oh my god! Like I said, this is why I don't like this level, though. Oh, for fuck's sake! This is the hardest shit. I'm not even exaggerating. You think that, like, the fucking, like, B levels are hard? No, it's these jumps. God fucking... I missed the old one where he went crunk like into the thing and went and then fell on the ground. It was really cool. I know my crash too. Don't fucking don't you talk dirty to me. Thank you. Christ. Now if I get killed, I'm gonna throw a major See, this level's not that bad, it really isn't, but that jump, I swear to god, is the hardest shit in the entire game. There is nothing that comes that difficult in the entire game ever again. I'm okay with the next level, but it's like, ugh, I just... That jump, that is the most atrocious jump in all of Crash 2. There's no denying it, okay? It's just that bad. You, until you've done it, you just don't know. <sighs> this snow looks just like it's retextured sand. Fuck you, game. You're terrible. Anyways, that... Uh, that's probably the most deaths I'm gonna have in the entire game. Watch me say this now, but I'm pretty damn confident. It's not gonna be an issue. So, yeah, you can do the relic now if you want to, but I'm not really worried about it. The relic is actually relatively easy, because when you're not trying to go for a 100% box tally, it's not that bad. I mean, that's most all crash in general, but still. Okay, so we have... We'll do Road to Ruin last, that's right, because we need to get the, uh... There's a secret level in this one that, like I said, Crash 2 is just inundated with secrets. And it should be the one for Air Crash, if I remember correctly. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Damn it. In the original, you could do that and hold it in midair. It was really funny looking. Okay, this one's not super bad, but I really fucking love the coloring on this. I do prefer the way the PS1 looks because of nostalgia, but this is very fucking good. It's so goddamn pretty. I don't normally like to say, oh, it's such a pretty game, because graphics are dated, like, the moment they come out. But, like, fuck me in the mouth! Yeah, that's right. Go fucking cry to Blobushka, see what I care. Um, but, like, it really is a fucking pretty game. There's no denying it. Now, maybe that's just because I'm playing on the PC version. I can't vouch for how, like, the other versions look. 
far as I'm concerned, this is as good as the game is going to look and as good as it's going to be optimized. Well, other than the frame drops. But the frame drops only happen when recording, so I, I really can't complain. I don't get that many issues when I'm not recording at all. Uh, this one I really like. I I guess I got it wrong. I, I have Stockholm Syndrome for Totally Bear, I think. But then again, I didn't play that level very often as a kid because I didn't fucking know about that jump. Like, that shit was obtuse. There's no way you can say, well, fucking obviously the platform is still there. What kind of drugs did you take when you were a kid? I want to know what logic that made you think, better go down there to both of those fucking sections. There's nothing. Nothing would tell you that. And the original, by the way, those platforms were ice cubes that would fall. I actually kind of like that better. You don't really see it very often in Crash, though. I love ice levels so much in games. I like how I'm like, you don't see it very often. It's like the main gimmick of this game. So, anyways, this is the alt part of Air Crash, which we don't need to do the death route since there's no boxes in there. I think it's only nitro crates. Should we go for it? Why not? No, that's fine. I got two. I basically got one. That's okay with me. So, this secret we're in right now is actually going to drop us off in the beginning of the level, which I didn't actually show the whole thing in the original playthrough. So, like I said, don't skip boxes. The nitro switch doesn't count. If it blows them up, it won't do it. So... This isn't even the worst alt start. I think the worst alt start is actually Road to Ruin. Because it's literally like four boxes in three seconds and it's fucking so stupid. But uh, yeah, we can just basically play the level like normal at this rate. This is why, like I said, Crash 2 is a fucking great game. But if you want to go for all the boxes, my god, you have to use some pretty out of the blue thinking and like... You've absolutely positively you've got to make sure you have a secret guide handy otherwise you're going to be up shit creek without a paddle i guarantee you that uh crash 2 is very very secret heavy especially well the later levels okay i really did think i could make that jump without having to do that oh i'm stretching a bit but um let's see if i can do that there we go that's what I meant to do. I was trying to show off, but no, someone wouldn't let me do it. Ooh, thanks, Mom. But, um, oh, I hate these. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not good with jumpy crates in any Crash game, any version. They're all awkward. If you've ever played the original Mario Bros, I'm talking, like, the fucking SNES one doesn't count. Mario 1 and 2 for NES. Uh, the jumpy boxes, or the springs, whatever they were, those things were fucking horrible. That, I just cannot explain it, but that is like some of the most unpleasant feeling, just ass clench shit in the game ever created. Um, but yeah, Crash 2 is a fucking hell of a lot of secrets. There's some things in this game you just never figure out that you could do. Like, uh, I think personally the absolute worst one is... Oh, let's see. Ooh, I got a frame drop. That was a bit spooky. Um, so this, without doing this jump, is so fucking tight. You will probably fuck this up, and you'll be like, "Are you kidding me? I, I don't, I don't like this." But um, ooh, that was too goddamn close. <laughs> ooh, that was like right on the ass. That was way too close. Uh, um, the one I think is the most. Everyone says, oh, it's not that fucking bad. The route that fucked me up is the purple gem. That one is just... If you've never seen it, I'm not saying it, but that one is one that I think is just fucking nuts. Like, there is no goddamn way you would ever figure that out. I think the most completion I'd always get for Crash 2 was like 92. It was like the exact thing. I never figured out how to get the death route platform in um, Piston It Away. And I obviously could never do um, whatever the other one is. It's the other factory level. I fucking hate it. Yeah, basically the shit that's very cryptic I could never figure out. So, 
Road to Ruin does have a death route in it. Um, this one has no boxes in it, and we're not going to get the clear gem until the next level set. So we got to play pretty goddamn perfectly, and I fucking love these levels so much. I don't like the music. I think the original music was like 300 fucking 30,000 times better. Um, it used a native, like, like in it. It was really fucking cool. It was really ominous, and I loved it. I mean, this is still good, and I love, 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 love the uh, lighting. Even in the original PS2, the fucking lighting on this shit was awesome. And yeah, those gorillas scared the shit. See in the background? Let me see if you can see it or not. Let's... No, you can't really see it as well, but like... The silhouettes in the background used to scare the shit out of me so much as a kid. I was like, oh, what's going on? It's the monsters. So, those of you who don't know, I have like, I'm like one-third Choctaw and Cherokee, but like, my grandma would tell me, oh, that's where the Indians are up on the mountains, they're like, they're playing their games and they're hiding from dudes. They used to hide up there in the background when we were like driving through places, so like, because uh, I, I lived next to Table Rock for fucking ever, and like, you know what I mean? Like, you see those kind of places, you're like, oh, they used to hide up there, and like, they'd They'd make sure they didn't get killed, and I was like, oh, cool. But, like, I'd always had these fucking nightmares of, like, people living and looking down from the top of, like, silhouettes on mountains. It scared the shit out of me. So. Oh, by the way, when I was a kid, I thought those monkeys had claw arms. They don't. They just have little robo arms. So. Yeah, that's the, uh, Road to Ruin level. I just wish the music was a bit more native sounding. It's still really cool, but I like the original better. I, I think it, it just didn't... It doesn't have the same eeriness like it does in this version. So, yay! We've... They've actually been kicking ass so far. Uh, but that's fine. I'm good with getting just the ge like gem on that. We need to get the crystal. I should have died, actually, and went back. I should have killed myself! Ugh! <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was uncomfortable. See, by the way, over there, where that uh, exclamation box is, that is where we need to go. And it's... I don't know. I hate that one. That's literally all it is, too. It's literally just, like, those boxes you can... What the hell? <sighs> Fuck it, man. We got the death route gem. We don't need to worry about accuracy anymore. Accuracy is some shit you put on a fucking, like, Call of Duty gun or something. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I used to be so scared of, like, this level when I was a kid because... Can I see it from here? No, it's not up here. It's up further. I'm pretty sure you can see it better. But, like, the fucking monkeys in the original, like, seeing them move, it gave me such an uneasy feeling because it made me think of that thing when I was a kid. And also, that's supposed to be Cortex's tower in the background where I'm standing in the foreground. It's really cool. I love it. Like I said, direct sequel in every single sense. Oh, yeah. Fucking oh, that do anything for you? <laughs> Nothing gets my bitches wetter than fucking Crash Bandicoot 2! Mm-mm! I'll never do that again. I promise you that. So, that's all the uh, main stuff we can do in this tier for now. And we get to fight uh, Taz Tiger, as he was originally called, who is now named Tiny Tiger. Yeah, it's, it's fixed in this version, but if we pause the game in the original and you look at the boss name, it actually said Taz Tiger. No, I'm not. I'm not in the mood. Um, Tiny's actually pretty easy. None of the boss fights in Crash are. Eh, I don't like his design as much. He doesn't look as like spooky as the original Taz. I almost called him Taz. God damn it, Tiny. I love this music, but I like the original better. I like that cool Mark Mothersboro sounding uh, synth bass. Blah, 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 blah. I like that better. This fight is admittedly one of those ones where depth perception is kind of an issue to me. It's not 
the worst, but I don't... Oh, Jesus. It's when he gets in these patterns I don't like it. Bet you didn't think I could make that jump, did you? You probably thought I was going to fall, didn't you? Well, you're wrong. I like a little motherfucker.obj's go around the environment, too. Holy shit, that was too close. I should not have done that. I was trying to be fancy and kill him early, but that's not a good idea. What?! Oh, that's bullshit, dude. He was literally right on the edge of it. Fucking motherfucker.obj. Okay. I know he's voiced by some... I think it's the guy that voices Bender in this game, by the way, but I don't really give a shit. Alright. I love how that song is just... It almost is perfect to the original, but it just doesn't have that fucking synth sound to it. It's, it's the only thing missing in it. <sighs> I know, I'm gonna complain up a fucking storm. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. That one, that one game that, like, you want to try to beat it, it like, it, it's, it's domestic abuse. It's essentially domestic abuse. You cannot, there is no escape.